my name is Darren Molina. I'm a sophomore, and you're watching Everyday Titan. Surprise. What's up, Titans? Today's Tuesday, February 6th. I'm Autumn Basara. And I'm your new super talented host, Terrence Saki. The show was getting a little bit dry, but your boy's here to add some sauce. Anyways, before he gets a little bit too carried away, let's get straight into the announcements. The crew here at Everyday Titan... The crew here at Everyday Titan is inviting all viewers to share their love notes and messages for Valentine's Day. We will share them right here on Everyday Titan. Photos and created images are more than welcome, but please keep it clean because we won't show it otherwise. And make sure you, keep, you get it in before February 12th to give us some time to make sure everything is perfect for you and your special someone. Are you looking to help out those in need? TC's UNICEF Club is asking for donations of to toiletries. All donations can be brought to the UNICEF box in the main office in the library. Help out your community today, Titans. The Fashion Club will have a Valentine's Day pop-up sh flower shop on February 14, 2018, which means no need to sneak out to Safeway this year, Titans. Fashion Club will have what you need. Balloons, flowers, the works. Pre-orders have already started during lunch or, the, or, during lunch, or see Ms. Chavis in room A221. Need your need advice, but your friend's two cents does not suffice? Text Alex to 30644, and your questions might be featured in the new edition of Keep It 360. Now, now that's nice. Speaking of Keep It 360, they will be having a meeting today after school in room C214. There are no dues that just bring yourself and a friend. Titans, has a staff member at ACPS positively impacted you? Let SSLC know by nominating a staff member for the Cho Student Choice Award. Follow the link below to nominate a staff member. This staff member will be considered to receive recognition based on your nominations. Students, the TC elective fair is today. The fair will feature teachers presenting, representing all core elective classes, as well as information breakout sessions about GW University and the ACPS Academic of Health and Science and the STEM Academy. Translation services will be provided to all those visitors. The fair starts at 6 and ends at 8, so make sure you sure to check it out. Speaking of which, during the elective mm -hmm. fair today, the TV production program will have a screen a green screen setup to shoot video promotions for those for any and anyone interested in an elective class. The videos will be shown here on Everyday Titan and will also be available online at TCTV Everyday Titan YouTube page. So make sure you go you join us to us at the elective fair to get your sweet pr promo made. The TC Gardening Club will be holding its first meeting of the year tomorrow in room B22 B213 immediately after school. Don't worry if you don't have any if you don't know too much about gardening. Everyone is welcome to attend. For any additional information, the meeting meeting the club or even just about science of organic vegetables gardening, contact Mr. Earl. Hey Otto, did you know TC recently inducted 6 TC alumni into their Hall of Fame? No, I didn't. Well, for you and anyone who else, who else didn't know, my buddy Abdel and I were there to cover it. Let's check it out. On January 19, 2018, Alexandria City Public Schools inducted six outstanding athletes into the Athletic Hall of Fame. Bob Stump. Bob Stump was a three-year varsity oarsman and a two-way starter and the co-captain of the 1969 Northern Virginia Championship football team. Miss Ardelia Hunter. <laughs> Ardelia Hunter was a pioneer in women's high school athletics and was a star on the Parker Gray women's basketball team. Represented by his niece, Ron Lambert. Ron Lambert was a three-year varsity starter and was named first-team All-State. 
and was also the captain of the football team. Lambert was named All-American team in 1974. Mr. Jimmy Warden. Jimmy Warden was not just a great coach, he was an outstanding athlete as well. He was honored the best basketball player of the year in 1964. Dwight Stevens. The White Stephens won the 1979 Northern Region and Virginia State Cross Country titles. He has the 1980 indoor state record for the 3200 meter. Michael Horton was a senior who averaged 28.5 points a game. He was selected as the best basketball player of the year. In his all-time career, he scored over 1,600 points. The city of Alexandria and T.C. Williams are very fortunate to have these talented people for our current and future students to look up to. This is Tan Saki and Abdel Muhammad behind the camera. Thanks again to my man, Abdel Muhammad, and of course, your super talented host for that great package. Do you love international food, culture, and buffets? TC's International Bazaar will, be include, will include all of that and more. It will be held after school on Friday in the King Street Auditorium. You can get your tickets for just $10 at the event or even room B305. All profits from the event will go to, towards schools in Kenya and Sudan, to be, to be sure, so be sure to help out the fellow Titans. For more information, please contact Dr. Kaleo. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show with me as your new host. Hopefully things will start looking up for this show. I think the show is doing just fine without you here. Autumn, please don't make me big on my first show. Anyways, peace, Titans. Peace. <laughs>